A magic toy store has purchased a building along the main street of a community. They are looking for an interactive exterior design that will entice and provide entertainment 24 hours a day. First, let's take a brief look at the history of toys and toy stores. According to History of Toy Shopping in America, a publication by the University of California, even though specialty toy stores existed in major cities like New York and Chicago as early as the 1860s, in most towns, no store had the primary purpose of selling toys to kids. Perhaps hobby stores sold electric train sets and model building kits, and in sporting goods stores, you could buy bikes and baseballs. Department stores and dime stores had toy departments, but these stores sold merchandise primarily to adults, not children. Giant toy stores now dot the landscape offering huge selections and low prices on toys made all over the world. Retail stores have become bigger, more powerful than manufacturers, and more spread out over suburban areas. Now, in comparison to a couple of decades ago, virtually every toy brought to market today has television and movie tie-ins. Another thing to consider is that toys change radically from one generation, even from one season to the next. This is a source of dismay to many people, who might argue that there is a moral decline in the consumer preference of today's youth. Most adults think that the toys that delight children today are tacky and incite antisocial urges, in contrast to the wonderful toys of their youth that encourage imaginative play and meaningful attachments. Since toy stores do not manufacture their own products, toy stores attempt to develop brand loyalty to the stores themselves. The shopping experience itself is now sold to consumers. Retailers want consumers to think of their stores as a destination, not a mere outlet for the distribution of products. Their goal is to move attention away from the products sold, which are available anywhere, even over the internet, to the place where the products are sold. And that's where we come in. As architects, we must carefully and innovatively design this storefront and facade. Our mall was to be designed in the newest shopping mall in Tijuana, Mexico. This shopping mall is called Plaza Galerias, and it's located in one of the busiest avenues in Tijuana, very close to the upper middle and high class neighborhoods. Since it is a mall, it has private security and strict hours of operation. The facade of this toy store was designed to provide sensory stimulation and to allow a variety of play and learning opportunities that promote physical and social activities. Our design main features are a mirror wall, a wall with reflecting surfaces, something similar to the house of mirrors in a county fair or carnival, where kids will see their reflected images in several distorted views. Mirrors are an important design feature during toddlerhood and preschool years. They encourage toddlers to see themselves as individuals. Toddlers are fascinated by mirrors because they can see their reflection move at the same time with their movement, and yet they cannot touch the reflected person. Thus, mirrors help to facilitate analytic skills. A concrete drawing wall. It consists of a poor, reinforced concrete wall with an extra smooth finish. During business hours, an employee from the toy store will be in charge of lending different colored chalks to kids and or adults for them to freely express their art in an easy to wash wall. Toddlers are developing cognitive skills. They are also developing gross motor, motor skills. This drawing wall will allow toddlers to project their thoughts in this medium and help them to learn about limits while they explore. A giant floor piano. A piano with at least two octaves. When pressed, the piano will lit up with different colors, very similar to the piano in the Fowl Schwartz toy store in New York. Learning to play any instrument can help children develop important cognitive skills that can help them be more successful. In this case, playing the piano involves using different parts of the brain such as spatial reasoning skills, emotion, creativity, and motor skills. To play the piano, it will require focus and concentration to a certain degree. Playing this oversized toe piano with their feet might encourage a future Mozart to start early with his piano lessons. Connect Interactive Wall the Kinect is a motion-sensing 3D scanner input device by Microsoft for the Xbox 360 video game console. 
In our interactive Kinect walk, anyone that stands in front of the Kinect camera will see themselves through the store window in the monitors that are kept securely inside the store. There are many games and uses for this machine. The user's body will be the controller instead of a physical one, thus eliminating the possible lost or malfunction of controllers. Games require coordination and some physical fitness, since the user must jump up or to the sides and even crouch to elude obstacles in the projected screen. In reality, the uses of this interactive machine are limitless. A big toy car. A big car where kids can climb up, sharpening motor skills and coordination, and let their imagination run free. Small gathering round tables. In these kid-sized tables, children can sit and rest or have a snack, paint a coloring book, or maybe girls can have their tea parties. Green areas and a small pond, already provided within the mall. This big communal area will provide the presence of nature for everyone in the mall. For kids, this means sensory stimulation and intellectual inspiration steaming from the presence of nature in its natural habitat, in this case, fishes and ducks in the pond. Jungle Gym Kids Entrance this is a unique entrance where kids climb a sort of jungle gym followed by a slide leading into the front lobby. A small kids climbing wall. This is a small 8 feet climbing wall specially designed for kids. Sidewalk performers. Employees dressed in different costumes according to the season will be greeting you into the store. They will also teach you how to operate the piano, provide you with chalk, or strap you for the small climbing wall. Of course, kid safety will be their primary objective. And now, for the grand finale, a walkthrough of our interactive toy factory store. Tijuana Sound Machine Sound Machine Sound Machine